Welcome to Mercy's Designs. My name is Mercy and I demonstrate stamping up products. Today I'm going to show you this beautiful slimline card using Beauty of Tomorrow in the coordinating dies as well as Nature's Harvest. These are brand new um, stamp sets and dies in the uh, mini catalog for July through December, I believe. So let's get started. What I did here is a technique with masking and instead of the usual stamp on the mask, what I chose to do is to use my um, dies to cut out. So what I, how I did that was I put the post-it note on some of this, uh, you can see right here, on wax paper. And then I took the die, so let me get one die out just to show you. And I <clears throat> positioned it and ran it through the die cutting machine. Now these particular ones ha are mostly sticky and you can, I found this I think at Office Max. So the majority of it is um, has adhesive, a lot more than most. So only the bottom part doesn't which is very handy. And then I also use this for the longer one. So um, I will get started by showing you how I stamp this. So the first thing I did was I brought in my Stamparatus. And of course with the slimline, it's not, the Stamparatus isn't exactly designed for a slimline format. So what I did was I thought, well, I could just turn this paper. So I will get, started on that so as usual you just so it overhangs a fair amount but not a huge amount and I used um, the soft uh, soft succulents and I double stamped it so and the reason why I double stamped it is I wanted it a little bit brighter than just one time and by using the stamparatus you can definitely do that so here we go with our second one. And then what I did here now is I turned this around and I've already positioned my next die, my next stamp, I mean, and I am using Memento on this, um, what I consider the bigger image, the one I'm featuring more. So I'm gonna ink that up really well. Sorry, that was off camera and then stamp down here. And for this one, I did not double stamp because black is a little darker and I want the coloring to really show through. So what I am left with is, is this image right here. So it's all ready now for the next step. So I have, of course, already um, die cut out my post-it notes. So all I need to do is take them and position them over. Now, it's not fully sticky over everything, but that doesn't really make much difference. So if it raises up a little bit, that's not a problem because when you're stamping, it'll kind of push it down and it is just a mask. And we don't want too much adhesive. <laughs> That creates a problem too. So um, think about this technique instead of having to stamp it and cut it out by hand using your dies to cut it out. And you can see here's what I was left with when I ripped off the um, wax paper. Now I used a really cheap wax paper, which I don't know, probably regular good stuff would work too. And that worked really well on the back side. It really probably doesn't matter. I just thought I'd mention that. I haven't tried it both ways. So just get a scratch paper to protect your surface. And what we're going to do is bring in the Sahara Sand. Now this sentiment, as soon as I saw it, I was like, that would be beautiful to create a background. And I thought, what better way to show it off by creating a background with the lettering behind it. So this is what I came up with, how to accomplish that. I'm just looking for my stamp. Here it is. So here's the stamp, and I have Sahara Sand here, as I mentioned, and I'm not being super careful here. I'm just kind of randomly stamping, 
and it really doesn't matter too much. No one is probably going to read that, what's written. In fact, they'll probably just wonder what is written. You really can't make it out <laughs> when you do something like this. Okay, so now it's completed. And all you need to do now is re... And I've been pretty careful with these, not pulling on like, like that, what I just did, but I'm trying to make a video and everything doesn't go quite as smoothly with the video, I have to say. So, oh, that wasn't good. Okay, where it, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna set them on here, just something non-stick so you can preserve them. And you can do this for quite a few times without ruining them. I am making eight of these, so a lot. And so far they're holding up pretty well. Okay, so here we go. All right, I'll just set that aside. And now the next step is to color. So what I have for coloring it are the blends. And I just thought instead of coloring it actually, I would just explain a little bit. So <clears throat> with the Blackberry Bliss, I just added a few random spots like this. And then I came in with the, um, the light Blackberry Bliss and filled in a little further. So, you know, like so. But I still kept a lot of white. So I'm following the artist's lines. And then what I did was I brought in light, the free, uh, fresh freesia and finished coloring it in like so. Now, if you feel like it's too much contrast, you can do it a second time color to blend. And so what, um, then the other thing I did was I brought in the pale papaya and I colored over these parts. Now, obviously there's nothing really to fill in. So I just kind of go over it kind of in a wild, um, I don't know, watercoloring fashion. That's the word I was thinking of. So you know how with watercoloring, sometimes they color outside the lines. So it just kind of highlights it. Now, with this one, I actually followed inside the petals. So, you know, you get the full look. But I think that no one really like stares at it and says, oh, they're outside the lines because it kind of has a cool effect. So this is what it looks like finished. And I think that looks really cool. So the next thing we want is our sentiment. So I have a little scrap of paper here. And um, I want to say it's, I'm not sure how big. Let's see. It's a little over half an inch. It's definitely, it's um, like five eighths inch. So what I want here is I'm bringing in the blackberry piece. And I'm going to stamp that. Now, I do have a backup plan because it is hard to stamp straight. But I was actually surprised with these stickers and all that you now can use with stamping up. You can get it pretty darn straight. So now they do have a die. Oh, that's pretty good, see? I mean, slightly higher here, but that's being super picky. But the thing is, there is a die that you can die cut this out then. Now, the reason why I chose not to is because my card is a slim line, I have to fit it in and it doesn't quite come out perfectly when I try to cut off and you'll see that in a sec. Okay, so what next you wanna do is layer it onto Blackberry Bliss like so. So I did that already. Here's my backup plan one. <laughs> which I think I will just use that since it's all ready to go. I don't think anyone needs to know how to glue. That's really, oh, I grabbed the wrong one here. That was the one I was just showing a little bit about the coloring. So I'm just gonna flip this over and add liquid glue. Now, one of the things that I often forget, which I really hate, is I forget to add my ribbon. So I'm just gonna bring that in so I don't forget that. So here we go. That's like, sometimes that's the hardest thing to remember. Isn't that pretty? But 
if you just left it like this, it would be pretty. But I think adding your um, sentiment and all that really just finishes it off. Okay, so obviously this is not angle cut, but we will do that after we attach it. And that is, to me, the easiest way. So the main thing here is you make sure that nothing is going to be cut off. So when you are doing your angle cut, it's not going to get cut off. Now I kind of feel like just a smidge over. But it is going to... Um, <clears throat> You do definitely have to have an angle because of, it's a slim one. Otherwise, it would definitely not fit. So this part isn't so good when you have glue because you can gum up your scissors. But we're not going to stress over a little bit of that. I can use my rubbing alcohol later. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And now it looks like it's um, custom made for it. So... Next, we add the ribbon, so I'm just going to quickly do that. Um, I'm just doing a, like a faux bow, nothing like a big bow or something. You could obviously do that. So I just knot it. And because I put it around the back, I can adjust where the bow sits. So I just slide it into place. So I like that pretty well. Don't like how this is flipping up, but we'll just cut the tail a little so it's less rebellious. All right, so here we go. Uh, that one didn't come out exactly the way I wanted. Okay, that's perfect. Now I'm happy with that. So um, my base is Fresh Freesia, and this is um, the eight and a half and it's three and a half this way or you could say seven if you open it up and cut it when you cut it i pre um, scored it and then i used my bone folder so that it looks really well creased so i have not been making videos in a while and the reason is i felt like i wasn't getting much feedback and i wasn't sure i got a little discouraged truthfully but I did enjoy it and I still want to continue. So if you find this video helpful, I would really appreciate, of course, a thumbs up. And if you would leave a comment, that would be awesome too. I do love to make cards and I find this um, these new fall sets really beautiful. So I almost forgot this part. We need to add the bird. So with the bird, I'm just going to add a couple dimensionals. I this is from Beauty Tomorrow, and it does have a die. So I went ahead and did that ahead of time because I didn't want to bring in my whole um, die cutting machine and do that. Because I think most of you know how to die cut if you're watching this video. This probably isn't your first introduction to stamping, but if it is, welcome anyway. All right, so I'm just going to add it like so, and it's a, like a swallow, I believe or I'm thinking it is, and it's just swooping down. And this message is sending healing thoughts. May nature's beauty bring peace to your soul. And I think that's just really beautiful. So I, what we're gonna do to finish it off now is we're going to do the inside. And one of the things I like to do is add a little DSP. And this DSP is the Fresh Freesia from the In Colors. Um, DSP in the annual catalog, and it's just a one inch by three inch strip. So I could get a lot of these out of one piece of paper. And I just like how it just kind of gives a finished look. And truthfully, I like how it also takes up a little room. Sometimes, I don't know about you, but it's, it can be hard to come up with what else to write. So I like that it takes up some of that space. So here it says, here for you, which is a very nice little message. And I'm just going to stamp that here, here for you. And um, I will then add my um, swooping swallow. So I have misty moonlight here. This I think is beautiful. And it I think it looks well for the fall look. Misty Moonlight. 
There we go. Okay, so now I just simply put this in the card and we will be finished. So um, thank you for watching. And if you have any stamping needs, please email me at mewants3 at gmail.com and I'd be happy to help you place an order with the host code. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. And here is the finished product. I'll bring in my original. And they've turned out pretty much the same. When you do use the Stamparatus, it really does, you know, they come out pretty much the same. I was mostly, you know, positioning here. So this is above this flower, but I think it's really cool. Thanks again for watching and happy stamping.